Hi guys, welcome back to Scadia.com. So every now and then a patient walks into your doctor's office with a history of fall, usually a middle-aged or elderly individual. There can be many causes to such a fall, such as confusion, infection, hypoglycemia, transient ischemic attacks, and many other reasons, one of which can be postural hypotension, which is sometimes referred to as orthostatic hypotension or simply orthostasis. Now the ideal blood pressure for any individual is usually 120 millimeters per mercury systolic and 80 millimeter mercury diastolic. Postural hypotension is defined as a drop in systolic blood pressure by more than 20 millimeter mercury or diastolic of more than 10 millimeter mercury after coming to a standing position within three minutes. Causes of postural hypotension can include hypovolemia, which is a decrease in volume in the blood, drugs such as nitrates, diuretics, antihypertensives, and antipsychotics, Addison's disease, which is a destructive disease marked by deficient adrenocortical secretions and characterized by extreme weakness, loss of weight, low blood pressure, and GI disturbances, hypopituitarism, in which there is a decrease in ACTH secretion, autonomic neuropathy, as found in diabetes mellitus and multisystem atrophy, after a long marathon run where the peripheral resistance remains low for a few hours, and it may be idiopathic. But why does this occur? Well, usually when we stand up from a sitting position, the blood pressure usually drops because gravity pulls the venous blood down towards the feet and drops the venous return. Now this could make you dizzy and even pass out every time you stand. But this does not happen because the body compensates with the sympathetic nervous system. As you know, the sympathetic nervous system increases venous return, cardiac output, heart rate, and also the total peripheral resistance. And these changes blunt the change in blood pressure so you don't feel dizzy and lightheaded. However, the response is impaired in a number of settings such as those listed earlier, where the blood pressure is then dropped. In the next section, we're going to go over a possible scenario of postural hypotension and how to diagnose and manage a patient. So keep watching. Hi there! Now before we jump into the video, I have a very important question for you. Have you subscribed to our channel? If not, then subscribe right now to stay updated with the latest and brand new Scalia.com lectures. And click on the bell icon to stay notified about new releases. We upload a full lecture every single week with some short videos sprinkled in between. So that being said, now that you've subscribed, Let's return to the lecture. So now that we have an idea of what postural hypotension is, I'd like to go over a scenario which may occur in a hospital setting and guide you through the thought process of a clinical approach to postural hypotension. So here we go. Hello, how are you today? Oh, I've fallen again. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you feeling all right to talk right now? Yes, I'm feeling fine right now, doctor. Can I please confirm your name and your age? Yes, it's Mrs. Adrena Glyle, and I'm 51 years old. Thank you. Well, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your fall. You said you've fallen again. Can you please tell me how many times you have fallen and when? Well, the first time was a few months ago, and then I fell again last month, and now today, just a few hours ago. Oh, can you please tell me a little more about your fall today? Well, today I was sitting in my TV lounge watching the telly and I just got up to get myself a drink and I fell. So at this point I'm thinking about all the different symptoms associated with postural hypotension, such as dizziness or lightheadedness, blurry vision, weakness, fainting, confusion and nausea. So now I'll ask the patient if they had experienced any of these symptoms. Could you tell me if you experienced any dizziness or lightheadedness before you fell? Yes, yes, I was definitely dizzy before I fell. 
All right. And what about any visual disturbances? Say, blurry vision? Um, no, not really. And did you feel any particular weakness or tiredness? Mm, no. All right. Any nausea? No, doctor. Did you feel your heart race by any chance? No, I didn't. Did you have a headache? Nope, I didn't have that either. All right. How about after you had fallen? Did you seem to have blacked out for a while? No, I hadn't blacked out. Did you lose consciousness at any point? No, nothing of that sort at all. Did you get any injuries with your fall? No, I actually landed on my carpet, which was quite soft, so I was all right. All right. Okay, can you tell me about the previous fall, which you mentioned was last month? Well, I was getting out of bed and then I fell. And what about the incident a few months ago? At that time, I was at a restaurant and I was getting ready to leave. All right. So now, can you tell me about your health overall? Have you fallen ill at all recently? No, I haven't actually. Okay. And what about any conditions like diabetes or high blood pressure? Oh yes, I have high blood pressure. I take pills for that actually. Can you please tell me since when have you had this condition? Well, I guess it's been about three, four years now. So now at this point, my mind is leaning towards the common antihypertensives that cause postural hypotension, such as alpha-1 blockers and ACE inhibitors added to someone taking a diuretic. So now I'll inquire about the medications that she's been taking. Can you please tell me the medication you are taking for it? I don't quite remember the names of the host doctor. That's all right. Can you tell me how many you are taking and how often? Uh, yes, I take one tablet once a day after breakfast. All right. Have you been taking the same medication for the past three or four years? Or has there been any changes? Oh, yes. My GP did change my medicine a few months ago. Could you tell me what they changed? Well, I think it's the same name that I don't remember, but I did notice that her dose is double of what I took. Now, can you tell me if you have any known heart diseases? such as a previous heart attack, or heart failure, or arrhythmias? Uh, no doctor, I don't. All right. And do you have any history of any neurological problems, like any spinal cord injuries you may have had? No, none of those. Now, you've already told me about the medication you take for your blood pressure. Are there any other pills you take other than that? Uh, no, I just take those. All right. And do you have any allergies? Um, no, not at all. Have you had any hospital stays or surgeries in the past? Mm, no, doctor, never. All right. And has anyone else in your family experienced similar falls? Uh, no, it's just me, actually. Can I ask if you smoke or drink any alcohol? Uh, no, doctor, I actually don't. And how is your diet overall? Well, I think I do eat relatively healthy. All right, so now I'm thinking what the differentials could be. I've got postural hypotension, confusion, which may be from an infection, cardiovascular causes such as atrial fibrillation, neurological causes like TIA, hypoglycemia, an environmental factor like a slippery surface maybe, or maybe even elderly abuse. All right, so now I would like to do some examinations. I'd like to check your vitals and have your blood pressure checked both laying down as well as standing up. I would like to do a general physical examination. I'd like to have a cardiovascular examination done as well as a neurological examination. The findings I received are the blood pressure standing are 110 by 60 millimeter mercury, while lying down it is 140 by 90 millimeter mercury. The temperature was 37 degrees Celsius. The heart rate was 90 beats per minute. The respiratory rate was 19 per minute. The oxygen saturation level was 96% and the blood sugar level was normal. I'd also like to do some investigations like a routine complete blood count and urine electrolytes. 
I would also like to do an ECG. The ECG comes back normal. So what is wrong with me, doctor? Well, from what you've told me about your falls and the investigation examinations that we have carried out, it seems to me that a condition called postural hypotension may be the cause of your falls. And what does that mean? Well, postural hypotension basically means that your blood pressure suddenly drops and that causes for you to fall. And what does that mean? Well, postural hypotension basically means that your blood pressure suddenly drops and that causes for you to fall. Oh, I don't understand. Why is this happening to me? Now, I wouldn't want you to worry. Postural hypotension may have many causes, but in your case, it seems to be the change in medication for your blood pressure. You've told me that the falls had started after your change in the dosage by your GP. That's why we think the change has caused the postural hypotension. Sometimes, it can be caused by an irregular heartbeat, an atrial fibrillation. That is why we did an ECG, which came back normal. So fortunately, that does not seem like the cause. Infection may also be the cause. That is why we have asked for a complete blood count to see if there is any existing infection. We may also need a sample of your urine just to be sure. Now, since we think the cause of your frequent falls is the change in medication, we think it's best to contact your GP and review your blood pressure medicines and dosage. However, you will need to visit your GP as soon as possible. You will also be given a paper to record your blood pressure so we will be able to monitor it. Now, I would like you to keep a few things in mind. All right. Anytime you start to feel faint, try to find a place to lie down. Okay. Stand up slowly and don't move away from the chair as soon as you stand. Give yourself a few seconds. Engaging in some careful exercises can also help, like walking or wearing compression socks. Mm-hmm, got it. Please avoid changing your position too suddenly. For example, when getting out of your bed, it's better to sit up in bed and then stand up very slowly. Okay. Sometimes a high temperature environment can also trigger the sudden change in blood pressure, so try to avoid extreme temperatures like that. Okay, doctor, I will try to keep those in mind. Thank you. Now, I'd like to know if you have any questions at all for me. No, doctor, I think I've got it clear. So I have a condition in which my blood pressure changes if I stand up too quickly. Now, this can be because of many reasons, but for me, it may be the medication for my blood pressure. And I will have to visit my GP again, but meanwhile, I must remember to stand up slowly and start some exercises maybe. So, is that right? Yes, that's great. If you have any questions in the future, you can always contact your GP for any guidance. Now, that was one of the many possible scenarios that may come up in your practice. But we hope this video will make things a little easier to understand and pick up on the signs of postural hypotension. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see similar clinical approach videos, let us know in the comments. Thank you and keep watching Scadia.com. So that was all for today. Remember, we upload full lectures every week. But for more content, you can visit our website, Scadia.com. We have exciting new lectures waiting for you. So go visit and happy learning.